Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day. And man, what the heck's up with that stuff? So I've been getting some questions lately on what in the world is going on with my yard. Why do I have these massive areas or small areas or whatever of brown? It's really, really simple. Let's look at it. This is turf type tall fescue. This is Bermuda grass. Totally, completely different animals. The fescue is a cool season turf. It thrives in cooler weather. It likes this weather, this nice, cool, damp weather we're having. That's why this is green. It's in its environment. It's loving life right now. This is a warm season turf, Bermuda grass. It thrives when it's warm, hence the name. Uh, daylight uh, hours start getting shorter, you know, end of August, end of September, uh, start getting cooler. The Bermuda is going to start slowing down, shutting down for the winter. It's sending its resources down in the root system so it can protect itself so that it's ready to rock and roll the following year. Uh, typically, when you get that first frost, that's when you start seeing this stuff go nice and crispy brown. Look here, it's still a little bit of green down in there, but it won't be long. That will be gone too. So if you want to know for sure if it's Bermuda grass or not, one of the, the absolute things you can look for that will tell you is these long stringy runners. Look at that bad boy. Look at all these runners right here it's chasing after that heat or it was chasing after that heat on the concrete the concrete starts way back here and that runner's at least two and a half foot long so how do we control this how do we turn that brown grass into green grass well when the bermuda's dormant there ain't a dang thing you can do right now nothing in the world you can do about it except look at it and deal with it you have to manage this stuff when it's actively growing. You can't manage it when it's dormant. It's just not gonna work. The plant has to be growing green alive to, be, to absorb the products, the Roundup, the herbicide, the whatever you put on it to eradicate it. Now, let me throw this in there. This stuff is an absolute beast to control. Okay, it is one of the absolute hardest things in the world to control in a cool season turf. It's so aggressive, it's just so resilient, it is hard to control. But with persistence, you go after it year after year after year, you can get it under control to where you have little to none of it. Now, like I said, there's nothing you can do about it now, but you can get prepared for next year and tackle this stuff and take it on out. I got a renovation guide. I'm going to link it up down in the description. If you want to check it out, cool. It'll help you get rid of that crap. Now this right here, this is a cool season turf. I'm in, in central North Carolina. Uh, we're about 20 or 30 minutes south of the Virginia line. So we're kind of central north in North Carolina. This is turf type tall fescue. This is my test plot back here. To where I test and make videos and show you how different things work and all that kind of thing. And it's 100% turf type tall fescue. It's my GCI turf blend. Now, depending on where you live in the country, yours may look like this now. It may look worse. It may look better. It has a lot to do with how you maintain it and the weather conditions that you're growing it in. Now, this right here is the same piece of property but this is what I call my yard. Okay, back there's the test plot. This is more of my yard. It kind of surrounds my house. This is irrigated. That back there is not irrigated. This is 75% turf type tall fescue and 25% uh, midnight Kentucky bluegrass. Now, I got a whole lot of different things going around here because that's just the way I am. I like to see how things work, see how different grasses react and all that kind of thing. But this is 100% Kentucky bluegrass. I've got four different varieties. 
that I'm kind of testing out right here to see if it'll withstand the North Carolina heat in the summer. And we, of course, we'll do updates on that throughout the year and uh, show you. Now this right here is my neighbor's yard. It lives right beside me. And I've got her yard on the academy program. And this section right here was a 100% total kill off renovation. Very little Bermuda, but the yard had tons of crazy wild grassy type weeds that are just near impossible to control so whoop glyphosate knocked it out and this is what we ended up with so we've talked about a little bit about bermuda talked about fescue talked about kentucky bluegrass things like that that's the difference in warm season cool season typically the folks up north are going to predominantly be cool season Typically, the get folks down south are, are mainly going to be warm season turf. And then it's a strip that goes right across the middle of the country. That's called your transition zone. I'm smack dab in the middle of it. I get the best of both worlds. That's why it's called a transition zone, because there's a weather transition right there, okay? Or well, at least that's why I call it the transition zone. We get the best of both worlds. We get the crazy hot summers and we can get super cold winters with lots of snow it just depends on the year so hey if you're interested in either one of these grass types whether it be a warm season or a cool season i have a warm season guide and a cool season guide that are incredibly detailed it's almost 30 pages of super detail in those things the cool season guide a lot of you guys have that i'm getting ready to update that and send out a brand new one to everybody that's already bought it it no charge on that you just get it for free when i update and then the warm season is brand new it this is the official video i'm releasing my warm season guide so all that's going to be in the description now if you're just getting into the spray business and fertilizer business and you just kind of want to get a good general knowledge of what goes on then the guide would be useful to you so hey whether you're looking to get rid of your bermuda and convert over to cool season over to fescue or something like that or bluegrass i've got a guide for that if you're a cool season guy and you've got a, a nice cool season yard and you want to kind of up your game in the uh your maintenance program or whatever I've got a guide for that. And then this is the official video, uh, release video for my warm season guide. So all you guys with Bermuda, Zoysia, Centipede, St. Augustine, my guide's available now. All, all that'll be linked up in the description. Now check this out. I've got about 196 hours of work time involved in that warm season guide. It's crazy detailed. Uh, I've even got it broken down to the different nitrogen rates for centipede, zoysia, bermuda, St. All, because they all require a different amount of nitrogen at different times of the year. So I've got all that detailed out. It's got a fully printable calendar where you can print that calendar out, stick it on your garage door. It's got a, uh, what else is in that thing? It's got a quick reference guide. You can print out and put that on your door. There's a lot of updates to that that I've, or a lot of creations I've kind of come up with to make it so much easier. It's even got a calculator. It's really cool. Me and my buddy Alan have been working on this calculator nonstop to get it right. And you basically go in, you plug in your square footage of your yard and boom, it tells you the amount of every single product in the guide that you're supposed to use so it's a really cool feature uh now cool season guys before you hammer me with questions yes all that's going to be in the cool season guide I'm, I'm just now getting around to getting to be able to, to update all that to put all these new uh, features or whatever you want to call it in that guide so it'll be there when i get it done i will email a copy to you it's free whenever I, whenever I do an update. I don't charge anything for that. It's just a free deal that you get. 
So when you pick up the guide, whether it be the warm season or cool season, you'll get an email. It's almost immediate. As soon as you pay for it, you get that email just like that. Technology is so stinking cool. And it'll be a guide in there that you can download. You can print it, save it to your computer, save it to your phone, whatever you want to do. But you'll have it. Okay, that's, that's going to be what's going to tell you uh, to do throughout the course of the year, how much to do of this product, when to do it, what to use, where to buy it, the whole nine yards. Now, you also get access to a private Facebook group, okay? And that's where uh, you, you get in that group, and if your, your yard's kind of got a little bit of a, maybe a unique situation, or you don't know where to start, or uh, just whatever the question may be, you just simply go in there and post it and you tag me on it and I'll answer that question for you and kind of get you going in the right direction. So hey, thank you for watching my video and like and subscribe and share it with all your buddies. Tell them 2019 is going to be a big deal for GCI Turf Academy. We're going to blow this thing slam out of the water. Now look, make sure you subscribe. Okay, that's, a, that's an important thing and it's not necessarily a the, num the number to me is encouraging. That's what it does for me. When I see the subscription thing go up, that means what I'm doing, you like. And that encourages me to keep doing it. It's kind of like a big snowball. The more subscribers I see, the more I'm going to put into what I'm doing here online. And the more effort I'm going to put into it, making it bigger and better. Or as big and as best as I can make it. That really didn't sound right. I think I need to check my English book for that so hey I hope 2019 is incredible for you I pray God's favor over you I pray that he blesses you with so much you can't even take it in that sounds familiar don't it I got some cool videos coming up I got tons of yard work to do tons I got to get my garden right I gotta get my yard right. I gotta get my bushes right. I gotta get my crepe myrtles right. I have got to get that nasty siding right. I gotta get my roof right. And hey, you need to get your lawn care program right. Man, that thing is nasty, ain't it? Just butt nasty. Whew. Check you later.